In this episode, we're going to focus on profile attributes. Inspect profiles may need to store sensitive information, like secrets, that we don't want to contain within the profile. Instead, we'd like to add them at runtime, or even set possible default values when we execute them. So let's look at an example of how we can use attributes to remove secrets from this example code. Here, we are using the key RSA resource and the shadow resource. The key RSA resource is looking at a private key and using a passphrase to decrypt that information. We're going to replace that passphrase with a variable called pass, and then we're going to assign a value to that pass variable, which is an attribute. An attribute requires us to give it a name and a description. We're going to save the file and then execute a scan. We haven't provided a default value for our attribute, so when we execute the scan, we're going to see an error message that tells us that we need to provide one to correctly use this attribute. Returning back to the file, we're going to add a default value. In this case, one that we are going to inform the users that it should be overridden, that it's not a default that you should rely on. When executed again, we find out there's an issue with the key RSA resource. The key RSA resource requires that you specify the correct passphrase at this moment in time. What we're going to do now is give it the correct passphrase. So we're going to create a YAML file that contains our passphrase. We're then going to execute a scan using our attributes file with the adder's command line flag. We'll execute the scan again against our target, and this time we see everything pass. Let's deal with the shadow password being displayed here for the chef user. We're going to generate a new attribute, and we'll call it password. We'll call the attribute password, we'll give it a new description, and then we'll give it a default value. We're then going to remove the hard-coded secret value there, and we're going to replace it with our password attribute. We're going to go to the command line, and here we're going to echo out our password value. Now, this password has a number of special characters that need to be escaped to work on the command prompt. So I'm going to escape them here, and then I'm going to assign them to the password value in our YAML file. And then store it in a new YAML file called passwords.yaml. I'm going to execute a scan again. And when I execute the scan, this time I'm going to include a second attributes file. And we'll see that everything passes when I execute this second scan. Now we could use one file or multiple files. One file may contain all the details, but you may find yourself composing multiple different attribute files. And when we return to our control file, we see that we no longer have any sensitive information contained within our profile. If you'd like to learn more about Inspect, check out other videos in this series, our documentation, or our tutorials.